Howdy, I'm Max Schlechter with Everglades Equipment Group, and today I'm here to talk to y'all about a mean green mowing machine called the 648R. Now this thing's a monster. A 22 horsepower Kawasaki power plant, 5.6 gallons of fuel capacity, all putting power to the ground through powerful hydraulic driven hydrostatic drives. They bring this thing up to a speed of around nine miles an hour, which is pretty cooking for a stand on commercial mower. So here's the meat and potatoes of what makes a good commercial mower from a bad commercial mower. At the end of the day, you're trying to take tall grass and make it short grass. And the way you do that is through your mower deck. This 48 inch cut has been designed with seven gauge steel. So it is pretty thick and can take some serious abuse. Now, also on this side of the mower, your battery box. You got this one simple little nut right here. Unscrew it, you can pop your lid off, battery's right there. Super serviceable, super easy to access, super easy to change on the job and it'll keep you going. At Everglades, part of our job is to help our customer understand the deer knows where you're going through and we know where you're coming from. We know the struggles you're gonna face and we very much understand what's gonna break and what's not gonna break. On any commercial mowing machine, especially when you're running them full time, you're gonna tweak the frame and get a little bendy. Deer has designed this entire front caster assembly. Inside your front caster assembly, pop it open, everything in there is replaceable. This whole front caster arm, you got these bolts right here. Unscrew them, you could pop a whole new arm if you want to, if you go ahead and bend it or break it somehow. We don't want you to break it, but things happen. We know mistakes get made. And at, at Everglades, our job is to help you all out. Okay, here we are, the tippy top of the machine. Started from my right to my left. I'm gonna go ahead and explain everything up here. Right here is your on the fly deck adjustment. Now when you're mowing, this will be down, but if you see a rock or like a high spot coming up, so you don't hit it or suck it up into the deck, you reach down, you pull this up, it'll pull your deck up. Right here is your key switch. Pretty obvious what that does. Here, I know you can hardly see it, but this is little black rectangle right here is your hour meter. Here's your PTO switch. Engage, disengage, and again, that's to engage or disengage your blades. Right here is your throttle. Here's your choke on this far left side. This is your parking brake. Up as it is right now is engaged. Down is disengaged and you'll be able to move the mower. Here are the controls for your drives. This is how you drive the machine. This is forward, we'll move the machine forwards. Pull them back, you're going in reverse. You split them like this, it'll spin the machine. So say you want to turn it to the right, this forward, this reverse, it will spin the machine to the right. Like this, you're going to the left. Pretty simple, the 648R doesn't have a whole lot up here. It's nice, simple, easy to use, easy to understand. So back here, there's a, quite a few things to talk about. We're gonna start with your curb wheels. These are designed so when you come off curbs, you don't just bang the back of the machine on the curb. Kind of roll off them a little bit. A lot of manufacturers will cut corners right here and give you one bracket and a bolt holding that wheel on. But Deer kind of understands if you're coming off hot, like you're moving and you come off that curb, you're gonna bang this bracket, bend it, and break it right off. So Deer gives you a bracket here and a bracket here, pinching this wheel in, as well as a super thick, heavy duty bolt going through here. Another thing, spring pad. This is to save your back, give you a little comfort when going across super bumpy and uneven terrain. It helps a ton, especially with your knees and your back. All right, so now you got this adjustment pin. This is for your deck height. It goes all the way from one and a half to five inches, and that'll be your height of cut. You've got this one little panel right here. It's got a nut on it, same as the battery box. Unscrew it, pop the panel off, you've got complete access to your hydraulic drives. Hidden under this knee pad, you got your hydraulic reservoir. That's where all your oil is stored, and it will tell you right here in this side glass whether you need to add or how much oil you've got in there. From here, you can also access the top of your drives. We got a pretty much brand new 648. We got a muddy field right behind the camera, decently tall grass. We got my boy Jay here my uh, mowing expert for the day. We'll show you what the 648R is all about. You see 
a slight difference here between the machine that I had before and this one. This 648 is outfitted with our Twheel option. Now this is an airless tire with a little more grip, so you get better traction, mud, water, and it's airless, so you're never gonna pop it. You can run this thing until it wears down to a slick, just flat all the way across. It, you never miss a job, it keeps you on the job longer, way better for muddy terrain. It hangs on hills a little better. These stand-up machines typically have some issues with that, but this takes care of it. Michelin Twheel, perfect for the 648R.